Exalaser Lab sent us their new X1 Pro Fiber Laser. It can cut, it can clean, and it can weld. So let's get it set up and dive into its functions as I take a first look and explore the ways we can use this in future projects. I'll just take the cart for my old welder. Setup is very easy, but I did have to look around for some extra fittings because the 6mm air hose didn't plug in natively to my argon tank regulator or my air hose. Cleaning and cutting modes can work on an air compressor, and I found these fittings did the trick. You can find links to the X1 Pro and the fittings in the description. To get things started, I grabbed a few pieces of metal. I'll use this rusty old piece of scrap angle iron and we'll start by testing the cleaning mode. I'll remove the tip. I'll attach the safety clamp to ready the gun. I'm also wearing the included laser rated glasses and a respirator. A squeeze of the trigger will send the laser beam from the gun. The cleaning mode basically just wiggles the beam back and forth quickly to cover a broader area, which is useful for blasting off rust. I also have a piece of painted steel, so we can test the removal of paint too. This is every bit as satisfying as it looks. Next, I'll test an application that I'm likely to use myself. I have some 1084 steel bar stock for knife and sword making that's been sitting around for quite a few years, and it has a good bit of rust built up. It makes a difference how far away you are and how fast you go. I imagine some slow, controlled passes at the specific focal point would be more optimal than holding it by hand. But of course, I'm just trying to get a feel for the machine now too. I need to see what it's capable of before I figure out how to use it in builds. Most of you who follow the channel will mostly be familiar with our leather builds, but I do have a lot of plans for metal armor and other projects, so I'm excited to keep experimenting with it. Next, I'll move over to the cutting mode. It says to hold the gun at a slight angle. This is to avoid bouncing the laser back on itself and burning out a lens. It uses a specific tip for cutting. A quick note about safety. The safety clamp is removed, so in theory there is no way for the laser to misfire. I'm definitely having fun with the machine, but I imagine a laser cut to flesh would be nasty business. I'm not even sure a glove would help very much either, so I'm being more cognizant of safety than it may appear. I don't think safety squints are enough either. I'm always making sure to wear goggles specified for the laser's wavelength. Here I'm doing a few cut tests on some of the thicker material. My first attempts didn't go that well, but I'll try it again here in a second. I swapped to some brass sheet. It's probably around 20 gauge, which is fairly thin, so it should be much easier to cut. It slices through it like it's not even there. I can already tell the X1 Pro will save me a lot of time and effort when it comes to working with sheet metal. What happens if I hold the trigger from far away and get closer? Enough testing and goofing off, let's make something that takes some real skill, like a face. It's a masterpiece. Lifetime artist at your service. Okay, let's try something just a little harder. What if I try freehanding a dragon head? I mean, if you squint really hard and close your eyes and imagine a dragon, it kind of looks like a dragon. I'll take that as a win. Okay, let's try cutting that angle iron again. I'll try just the tip, and just for a minute. 
Well that worked, so it's definitely capable of cutting the thicker metal too. I think I mostly need to slow down and be more precise. I may also need more air pressure, so it's not rewelding itself during cutting. I can see that it will take some practice and maybe experimentation with settings. I would definitely like to be able to cleanly and quickly cut down bar stock for the knife and sword making builds we may do in the future. So I'll try the 1084 bar stock again, and try clamping the angle iron to use it as a guide. I don't quite get through here, though I do see it getting some penetration. I think slowing down more and improving my technique will be key, and better work holding for stability of course too. Moving on to the third function, welding. This unit also comes with a wire feed. I'll use 1.2mm wire, and for that I'll need to swap out the drive rollers. You can use the button to feed the wire, but I like to just push it through quickly manually before applying tension to the rollers. I'm using the 1.2 millimeter welding tip that will match the wire. A quick test confirms things are in working order. I'm going to try welding this rusty piece of metal to this painted piece of metal. No prep. Let's just see what happens. Well, something happened. This is fun, let's keep at it. Let's try welding some thinner stuff. I'll set the gun up for cutting again. What a blast, I could do this all day, but I'd better save some steel for actual builds. Okay, let's try welding the strips of mild sheet steel. I'm laying down a test bead on top of the sheet. Now I'll try welding another strip at an angle to the first. Whoops, looks like I welded through the strips into the table. This lives here now. I'll try a short weld. And a few tacked welds.
I should try to get the welted strips off of the table. I think it welds okay. I'll have to grind that out later. Now let's weld a couple of more pieces and do a stress test. It's not the prettiest weld, but it looks like it did the job, but there's only one way to find out. Let's give it a whack and see what happens. Perfect weld, 10 out of 10, no notes. All right, all right, let's give it a little bit more of a challenge. I don't know if that proves anything, but it seems pretty solid to me, and I can definitely see some opportunities to use this in certain future builds. I'll have to work on my technique, and I'll need to experiment with settings too. I think the trick is to let the wire do the work as it pushes itself along. This was a fun video to make, and this is a fun machine to use. And it's not just fun, it's capable of doing real work. I really look forward to using it in future builds. If you like the idea of me phasing in metal projects to the channel, be sure to show your support. Please like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the link in the description to learn more about the X-Laser Lab X1 Pro.